Hi, I'm Siobhan Sarna. I'm so pleased to have Dr. Christine Schaffner with me here today. Um, you may know me from Healing SIBO or the uh, Lymphatic Rescue Summit or any of the gut health summits that I've done just wrapped on a re-air of the Lymphatic Rescue Summit. And we are prepping for the Fascia and Chronic Pain Rescue Summit. Now, if you were here one of the last times that Dr. Schaffner and I were talking about the lymphatic system, you may have seen the process that I was going through about should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And you're like, you should. Dr. Schaffner was like, you should. And I was like, you should. <laughs> then I had to go rest. Then Lymph Queen Kelly Kennedy and I are talking and she's like, oh my gosh, we need to do a lymph summit. I'm like, yeah, I was talking to Christine about it. And these two are best friends. And um, she's like, do it, do it, do it. We'll do it together. And I was like, no, 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 I can't do it together. It's totally unrealistic. No, we have to do it. And I was like, I really want to do it. So we did it. Yeah. No business doing it based on my life and schedule. Anyway, it's coming out in October. We are speaking with Dr. Schaffner on next week where Kelly and I are going to be interviewing her for that. So there's just something fun to look forward to fascia and chronic pain. And wow, Kelly and I were fascia fascinated before. We are totally obsessed now. I know you are too. Who is mm -hmm. Dr. Christine Schaffner? She is the doctor who so many other doctors go to. She is the third and fourth opinion doctor. She is a naturopath out of Seattle. She has a beautiful practice there and Eminence Health is its name. She has a wonderful apothecary where she carries specialized products that she's formulated along with cherry picked other formulations from around the world. And um, she's been kind enough to support so many of my summits and is always one of the top, top people who get listened to for the longest. That's the way we judge stats, you know, like it's a 35 minute interview. They stayed until 34 <laughs> seconds. Oh my gosh. Because we just want to get the information out there. So with that being said, Today, we're going to talk about how to support your lymphatic system, and Dr. Schaffner has created a beautiful course if anyone's interested. The main thing is that this is like a webinar podcast right now. We're going to learn so much content and hopefully be super motivated. Dr. Schaffner, not only are you a beautiful person, but you have the best hair in the world. Oh, thank, you. Oh, thank you. You have great hair, too. <laughs> I washed it today. I washed oh. it today, bro. I know when you have that much hair, it's a big deal. <laughs> welcome, is. welcome, welcome. Thank okay. you. Thank you for that warm welcome. Thank oh you. I know I love you so much. Uh, everyone can tell. Um, I'm going to let you go ahead and get started. And I know you uh, know the drill, everyone. If you're new, welcome. Please refrain from chat during the presentation because it's super distracting. That's what the Q&A box is for. And then um, if we have a question, we'll ask. And then also, if you um, have any technical issues, Clarissa will be monitoring the chat for that. And Dr. Mm -hmm. Schaffner, go ahead and take over the screen. Thank you so much, Siobhan. It's always so lovely to be with you and your community. And I just love sharing this information. So I'm going to bring up my slides here. Dun, da, da, da. And we are going to just. And we always do a replay, everybody. We always do a replay. I know what it's like. Betsy in Sarasota, we call it Sarna Soda at my house because um, we're goobers. So just so you know, everyone will be getting the um, replay. So be sure to open your emails. And if you're watching this on Facebook and you don't, uh, you're not on our email list, be sure to go to uh, info at SIBOSOS and ask to be put on as well as you can go to SIBOSOS.com. Okay. Oh, you know what, Siobhan, if you want to just talk for a moment, I have sure. a new computer and Zoom just is making me open my system preferences. I'm opening up screen share and it's like warning signs. So I am just oh. going to, I'm no. sorry, we're, we're pros at this. We do this all the time, but all the time. I, I apologize. No problem. Uh, no problem. I'm, I'm actually pause the recording. Here. So here is solutions for lymphatic systems with Dr. Christine Schaffner. Go ahead. Thank you so much for your patience. And I'm really excited to share this information. And Siobhan, I'll just use the prompt next for each slide. So we'll just say next. 
Okay, so we are going to go over um, a few wonderful topics here, and my goal is to really give you some useful information that you can integrate into your daily life, and also we have some solutions. I've been practicing now for over 12 years, which is hard to believe, and um, I have partnered with some amazing people to find some holes in products that I think are really valuable to bring into your home treatment so that you can really have that um, clinical application of different product lines to help move your lymphatics. So I'm going to go through those formulations if you're interested in how to apply those to your uh, routine. And so we're going to talk about the lymphatic system. We're going to talk about three action steps to walk away with. And then I created a seven-day lymphatic rehab blueprint that is a really digestible course if you're wondering to um, dive deeper into your knowledge about the lymphatic system, as well as how to integrate different lifestyle, as well as um, different products as well. So we're going to talk about that. And then I cannot um, talk about the lymphatic system without bringing in the lymphatic system because that's a lot of where my work lies and how to keep our brains healthy and how to allow our brains to naturally detoxify at bedtime. And then there are three products that we'll talk about at the end, Lymph Flow, Somnium, and Liposomal Lymph Gemmo. And even just, um, you know, what I'm gaining, um, what I want you to gain from that is not only these unique formulations, but you can understand too, because we're using some unique ideas through the skin, as well as liposomal that you can carry in um, your knowledge as you look at um, products and supplements from this lens. So um, we will go to the next slide. Okay. And it's not February, by the way. That was just an old Zoom thing. So oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah look at that. On there. No big deal. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so I love this slide because um, these topics can get complicated. And I think sometimes diagrams can help us to just really, when we're learning about the lymphatic system, to kind of simplify and understand the overview. So I want us to understand the idea of the interrelationship between the lymphatic system and the circulatory system. So they go hand in hand. And if you're new to the lymphatic system, again, we have our circulatory system that is often, I love anatomy. It's like they highlight all of these different parts of our bodies in different colors, like they're that separate, but honestly, um, we're very highly interconnected as the fascist cinema is going to really dive deeper into. Um, but for purposes of education right now, I want you to understand that the you know, heart obviously um, pumps blood through what we call our arterial system. And that's gonna bring that red oxygen rich blood throughout her body. And then what is returned is our um, oxygen poor blood through the venous system that's always in blue and that gets returned to the heart to be reoxygenated. And that's happening throughout the day um, in so many ways. And so that inner relationship is that when we get to what we call the tissue space, and again, the fascia summit is going to go deeper into this, the tissue space is kind of really where all the action is in the body. This is going to be where the cells are hanging out. This is a lot of where our um, you know, organs and tissues and where really we need um, high nutrition, we need oxygen, and we really need to remove waste in order to keep that space healthy. And in that tissue space, there is this transition from what we call in the capillaries. So these um, arteries become smaller and smaller. And when they're in the tissue space, they become capillaries where there's a very, they're very small, only about one red blood cell usually um, can pass within these, um, you know, these channels. And so in the space, what happens is um, fluid leaves the blood and that fluid now becomes what we call interstitial fluid or pre-lymph. So this is the beginning of lymphatic fluid. And then that um, I'll show in deeper, um, you know, other slides, how we can go deeper into that. So again, I'm just sharing how um, the, you know, the lymph uh, leaves the blood and then some of it returns, but Siobhan, I've been reading some new research that I don't think as much of it returns as we think about, and that's a whole other conversation. So that lymph is really important that we recirculate because, um, you know, we want to um, make sure that um, we don't have pooling or edema or congestion. And then um, for the purposes of today, some of that um, fluid returns to the blood. And then again, the, um, the blood makes its way back to the heart. So um, next slide. Okay, can we make I should want, oh. Yeah, go ahead. Clarissa, were you gonna tell me how to make it full screen? Uh, no, I was just gonna say that people on the chat are requesting that we do go full screen, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I just don't know how to do it. Does anyone know? Um, do you slideshow up on the top? Yeah. 
Got um, it. Sorry. I just, PowerPoint's not my language. Oh, look at that. Okay. It worked. Okay. You know, we're just all out of our comfort zone today, you know, and look at that. You're, you're, you know, breaking down your barriers here. It's your PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, right okay so next slide next slide so then i click uh i'm I, oh this thing you can use your um air there you right arrow okay great okay. perfect right. so again taking that um um picture here and we're kind of blowing it up right so here we are in this capillary space and here you can see these green lymphatic capillaries so this inner um section between the um, blood and the lymph is illustrated here. And so those green capillaries are in the space as this fluid, this lymph fluid leaves the um, circulatory system. These capillaries are ready to take it up and bring it to the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system has really two important jobs that I see. It is a really important um, system to remove waste, which we'll talk about more. And it's a very important system uh, for our immune system to stay healthy and to really present what we're exposed to in our environment. So when I treat people with chronic infections and chronic illness, those are really the two biggest things that I'm thinking about when helping somebody. How can I imp improve their body's ability to detoxify? And how can I support their immune system? So that's why the lymphatic system is so important because if this system is not supported and it becomes uh, congested, stagnant, that's really where disease begins. So um, this is kind of another um, image there. So next slide. So then again, going a little deeper in like I'm, you know, the high level, then the next level, and then we're going deeper into this, um, you know, diagram here. And we're going to be talking about the connection between the extracellular matrix and the lymphatics. And um, as I'm going deeper in my knowledge of the fascia, um, one of the things I'll talk about on our interview is that this is a really great diagram, but completely oversimplified. And I think as we expand in our knowledge, we're going to learn so much about um, more of the connection. It's, you know, we, we think about these things as separate, but they're highly interconnected. And we have this whole highway of interconnection in our body that um, communicates. And so that's why the system, the space is so important in the body. So what I'm showing you a picture of is what we call the extracellular matrix. So this is the space between the cells. And uh, people who study bioregulatory medicine, which is a form of medicine that came out of Europe, we really highlight on this space because this is, I'll share the next slide, um, a thought leader um, by the name of Dr. Pishinger really said that disease um, you know, starts within the extracellular matrix. We'll go back to the uh, next slide or the previous slide. Um, so in the space, we have the capillaries I shared with you. Again, imagine this fluid leaving the space. So now all of a sudden it's encountering not only the cells, but collagen. We all have heard the term collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. It has a structural component, but it has a huge communication component. Again, where the fascia summit's gonna come in. Um, and it's being assaulted by um, things like glyphosate in our environment. So it's um, becoming weaker and more degraded and it can be a site for autoimmunity for people. There's also um, proteoglycans and hyaluronic acid and different immune cells and um, mass cells. So there's a lot of talk around mast cell activation and people becoming more sensitive. And my um, understanding and what my experience has shown me is that because this place is becoming more and more toxic and it's harder and harder for the lymphatic system to keep up with it and clear this, that mast cells are dealing with more um, probably toxicants and pathogens that are hanging out in this space, leading to what we call an overreaction and overstimulation in mast cells that they're going to be more prone to um, releasing the histamine plus all their other inflammatory cytokines because what they encounter in the space. And so this matrix is essential for bringing nutrition, oxygen to the cells and tissues and removing waste. And um, again, um, I have a good friend, Dr. Rob Cass. He created a company called Physica and he talks about, this is a quote for him and him, everything that comes out of the blood takes a somewhat complicated route through the connective tissues to the parenchymal cells, which are all the cells that we're just describing here, and then into the lymphatics. So if we're regulating and essentially, um, you know, draining the lymphatics, we have the uh, ability 
to essentially change the epigenetic expression in our cells because as we clear out this environment more and more, we're allowing the cell to be healthier. And that's gonna affect the um, ability for that cell to function optimally. Again, I'm oversimplifying because I tend to you know, go too deep sometimes, but um, I'm just trying to highlight that this is where disease is and this is where we're all seeing um, our treatments really need to target. Siobhan, do you want me to say anything more? Mm -mm, that's good. Okay, and, yeah. and next slide. Okay, next slide, okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. So just um, for any nerds out there who'd like to read really dense books about the extracellular matrix, I rec recommend this one. This is a um, classic. So this is Dr. Pischinger. Um, he wrote the book, The Extracellular Matrix and Ground Regulation. So he, again, said that almost every disease starts within the extracellular matrix. And, you know, this is a really, uh, you know, important point too. This concept of a cell is strictly kind of speaking only a, um, he says, a morphological abstraction. So just to think the cell in isolation, that it's just doing all its work without the communication of everything around us. It's really that environment and that soup, which we call terrain theory, that is um, really the key um, regulation of that cell. So we can feel very empowered that we can change by changing the environment, which I'm going to empower you with tools to do around the cell, we can optimize their health and affect that be um, epigenome. So next slide. Uh, one question for Megan. So if the extracellular matrix is clogged or overwhelmed with toxins, one can have more mast cell reactions? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. So one strategy, I see a lot of mast cell patients, a lot of sensitive patients, and it's again, multifactorial. There's a lot that we do for stabilizing mast cells, getting at the root cause of what other triggers are there. But one of our key foundational treatments is making sure that we have good lymphatic therapies so that the mast cells um, be can, become less irritated. Cool. Okay. And then again, just another visual, we don't have to spend a lot of time on this, but again, I, and for those of us who want to just learn more, there's one key point that I just want to make around this. So when we think about the structural proteins, I mentioned um, collagen in the extracellular matrix. There's also something um, called a proteoglycan, which is a protein and a sugar that have these kind of feathery like um, projections here. They're going to be the ones in blue there. Um, and they have a big job of helping the fluid to flow. And they can sometimes become overwhelmed too by trapping toxicants. And I'll have another slide. And one of, um, you know, um, I'll, I'll just go to the other side to make this make sense. So one of the key pro, um, proteoglycans called a glycosaminoglycan is called chondroitin sulfate. So you might have heard of it in certain supplements, but it is um, there. It is actually what the the chondroitin sulfate is, the feathery like arm of the structure. And for purposes of today, think about the healthier, uh, the more healthy the chondroitin sulfate in the tissue space is, is that we're gonna be able to really move the fluid and also um, clear toxicants from the um, chondroitin sulfate so it doesn't become um, degraded or bombarded with toxicants so it can't do its job. And um, when we think about having a healthy extracellular matrix and having um, ample amounts of chondroitin sulfate, we um, can really support the you know, lymphatic drainage as well. This, um, to the right, this slide, the, the brilliant Dr. James Oshman has taught me so much about uh, lymphatics, um, connective tissue. He has this term living matrix that I'm going to talk about, but he talks about um, chondroitin sulfate and these glycosamine and glycans as electron reservoirs. So um, you can kind of put your chemistry hat on for a moment if you want, and they hold electrons. And a lot of our biochemical processes depleting or restoring electrons. And when we have a lot of inflammation in our body, we're typically electron depleted. And he talks about how grounding, which is a, another tip that a lot of people are getting um, to integrate into their daily life, where you put your bare feet in the ground and get electrons from Mother Earth, we are actually repleting our chondroitin sulfate with electrons so that we can be more prepared to um, deal with the assaults of modern life. So 
just a little pearl there. I, I okay, appreciate Nicole. that because that's the first time I've ever heard that explained. Like I thought grounding, well, that sounded great. Let's all go out in nature. That's amazing. But now I understand that so much better. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm, I, 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 a lot of light bulbs always go off for me with reading James Oshman's work. So um, next slide. So again, uh, for the people who want to dive deeper, Dr. James Oshman is a brilliant um, PhD. He, if you saw that in, um, on the Dr. Pischinger book, he's in the foreword of that book. So he's been studying this work for decades. Um, and he has a book called Energy Medicine. And he really um, is um, getting the term living matrix out into the world. And so it's this idea um, you know, that I alluded to. We think about the body and all these different compartments, right? And these different systems. But again, what Siobhan and Kelly so some of it's going to very much illustrate is that that is good for you know studying but in reality in the living body we are a highly interconnected organism and that when we think about it we're from essentially our skin all the way into the nucleus of the cell there is an interconnection uh, via the work of the fascia that kind of essentially connects to the extracellular matrix and then there are proteins in the extracellular matrix that uh, cross over the cell membrane and then connect to what we call the cytoskeleton or microtubulin that also go into the nucleus of the cell and their own microskeleton, um, rather um, microtubulin and connect and communicate to uh, the DNA. So we have this amazing opportunity that we can affect uh, the a genome through actually topical transdermal applications. So um, this is again, um, another area of uh, passion of mine where this is really the realm of why energy medicine works. So this is the realm of um, sound and light and you know biophotons and frequencies and electromagnetic fields. So for again, people who wanna dive deeper into that, um, this is a great term to look into. Okay, and next slide. So again, just this is really basic, but you know, as I'm going to get into how to support your lymphatic system, again, I see really complicated cases and a lot of you know people who've been through so many. Um, unfortunately, we've seen way too many doctors and gotten you know um, not as the not the results that we all want for them. And again, when things are complicated, there's also a simplistic way to look at things. And I think um, that we just have to you know if you're struggling out there, just really think like health is flow. So how do you create more flow in your life? Life. And we want to uh, really, you know, start with how do we create more flow in your lymphatic system and how can we really create a way to remove any um, interference for your body to um, regulate here and flow. Um, one thought that we'll talk about as we get the body flowing and moving um, we don't want you to have any what we would call detox reactions or any um, aggravations and so I think it's really important to understand the role that binders can play. Binders can be different um, products like chlorellas and zeolites and clays and fulvic and humic acids, and they can help to bind um, in the gut. And then cell core binders actually um, go into the extracellular matrix and bind as well. And they can help us to assist as we're getting things moving to eliminate either through the you know, stool or urine so we can, um, everything that we're moving um, has a route out of the body. Um, all right, the next slide. Okay, so uh, we want to break this down into three action steps, and I'm really hard at just saying three things simply. So the first thing that allows me to say many things is that we want to create more flow in your lymphatic system. So um, Siobhan did an amazing job in her summit educating a lot of different ways to create flow. So just to Reminder: um, When we're um, one of the big things I didn't um, say that um, it's different about the lymphatic system than the circulatory system is that the circulatory system is related to the heart, which has this pumping action that creates a lot of flow and um, circulation and movement um, of our blood. The lymphatic system doesn't have that pump. It has a one-way valve system that actually helps to direct the fluid and keep the fluid moving back to the heart, but it relies on our movement. And so this is um, a, a nice visual that I found that shows why um, rebounding or bouncing on a trampoline really helps to increase that uh, fluid movement back to the heart. So it shows how working with gravitation that bouncing upward closes the valves 
And then, um, you know, essentially when you're, um, you know, coming down, it's opening them. So that kind of opening and closing actually helps to move and propel the fluid back to the um, uh, thoracic duct. So um, everyone can walk or move. You can even, if you don't have a rebounder, you can shake or jump. Um, there are wonderful vibration plates that are becoming more and more accessible and affordable out there that can move your limbs. Uh, dry sc uh, skin brushing. Um, there's a whole other rabbit hole we could go on about structured water, but that the more structured water that we have in our fascia and our lymphatics, that actually is a form of water that has energy and actually can um, create movement um, as well and flow in the body. Um, again, there's lots of ways to create structured water. One of um, you know, the um, things that you can do, of course, there's water filters and different, um, you know, techniques to structure the water, but uh, structured water forms um, in two wavelengths of light, infrared and UV. So actually being in the sun and getting that infrared um, exposure to your body actually helps to structure the water within you. Um, and then uh, Kelly's, um, you know, uh, shared with us the flow presso and um, I know that um, you've probably talked about that, Siobhan, as well, but the flow presso is a great tool for practitioners. I have that in my office and I, I love it. You can just have a patient get hooked up in the flow presso and that combines compression. So it's going to be compressing the lymph. It also has infrared, so it's going to help to um, create that exclusion zone water. And it has um, a type of vibrational um, technology that helps to add electrons to the body to help to increase cell voltage. So it's a really lovely treatment. I don't get in there enough, but I always fall asleep and go to the portal when I get in there, but our patients love it. All right, next slide. Okay. Uh, Okay, so then number two, so we all can move and create flow and we all have access to our breath and breathing helps to pump our lymph. So there's so many wonderful ways that breath can connect us, not only to, you know, there's a spiritual aspect to breath work, but and there's an autonomic nervous system, regulatory um, impact in, in uh, breath work. And then um, there's a lymphatic, you know, action for breath work. So this just allows us to show between inhaling and exhaling that when you're essentially inhaling, you're moving that diaphragm da down you're expanding your lungs. And then when you're exhaling, um, the diaphragm moves up, the chest is correct, contracting and by um, and treating, um, creating this contraction in the thoracic cavity, we're actually pumping lymph because there's two main places where lymph gets um, dumped as it's making its way back to the heart. It's um, in the thoracic duct and the right lymphatic duct that are right above your clavicle. So that is going to be, um, you know, a really great um, way to enhance and move your lymph. Um, just the just the next um, slide back to the breath work. Perfect. Okay. So um, deep diaphragmatic breathing. So, you know, take a few moments, you know, we all have access to our breath and we probably are all very shallowly um, breathing. I can do that throughout the day. I've caught myself many times where I'm really assigned, I haven't even taken a deep breath all day. I try to start my day with meditation where I'm really focusing on my breath. But if you're really trying to work on moving your lymphatics, um, try to schedule, even use your cell phone to time you, um, put a timer on and to remind you to do a few, um, you know, 30 seconds to a minute of deep diaphragmatic breathing. All right, next slide. Okay, so again, this is kind of like a big, you know, action step, but I want to educate you all. So if you have been doing all the things, so if you've been moving and you've been breathing and you've been, you know, doing all the things to move your lymph and it's still chronically congested, we have to think about what's clogging the lymphatics in the um, extracellular matrix. So this is the work that I do with all of my patients is I look at toxicants, pathogens, and trauma. And that's another reason why I really, again, love this system in the body because it's, again, I mentioned before, it's just where all the action is where I'm trying to help um, facilitate healing in my patients. 
So uh, many people know we're bombarded by toxicants, heavy metals, glyphosate, biotoxin, mycotoxins, uh, microplastics. I didn't add that, but I'm learning more and more about microplastics, like a whole nother rabbit hole to go down. Um, but these toxic substances can become trapped in the matrix and then that can affect communication and the ability for the um, cells to remove toxins and if they're not um, eliminated. So that build up of toxicants, we kind of already talked about with that mast cell question um, can um, you know, create illness in the body. And then pathogens. So I see a lot of Lyme and co-infections, viruses, parasites, mold, and um, these um, pathogens can actually um, have an inflammatory action. And um, especially like, let me use the example of Lyme disease. So Lyme disease has an affinity for collagen and connective tissue, and it degrades it for lots of reasons. And then it can um, kick up um, an inflammatory response in that tissue, and people can have um, arthritis and inflammation. And if we're not able to um, clear toxicants and amount on a proper immune response, that's where Lyme can really, um, you know, create a lot of inflammation. And so, um, and then just the slide. Uh, the other slide. Perfect. Okay. So, you know, again, take a survey of, you know, has this been explored in your life and do you have good strategies to support your immune system and have antimicrobials or antivirals or antiparasitics and working with a skilled practitioner who can help you because that could be another reason that your lymphatic system is clogged. Um, my patients taught, have taught me and I have had my own experiences in my body too that, you know, this is also a place where we store uh, trauma. So we've, um, I think there's been a lot of education and a lot more awareness of this connection of how trauma can make us uh, sick. And one of the ways that, um, you know, it can affect us is that trauma can be held. The memory of trauma can be held in the fascia the connective tissue, the water within um, the lymph. And so, um, you know, I could go on and on and on how that, you know, how to illustrate, but when we're, you know, treating one of these, we often have to look and treat the others because they all go hand in hand. So that's just the, the third one. Um, so yeah, so again, if you, you're you not getting results, take stock of this checklist and see if you've had a proper workup and proper treatment to, to really um, have a comprehensive plan. And I, I, I assure you, your lymphatics will be moving. Okay, uh, next slide. Alrighty, so um, we created a seven day lymphatic rehab blueprint. And again, my goal is to just get this information out there make it accessible and really deepen your understanding. And so you can really um, navigate your own health. So it just goes um, more deeply into things that I've touched on already. So there's a whole hour lecture on understanding your lymphatic system, going way more deeply into those three um, bullets that I shared about what could be clogging your lymphatic system, um, how to improve your lymphatic drainage with lymph massage. There's interactive, um, you know, do it yourself kind of routines. Kelly Kennedy's on there, um, you know, giving us some self lymphatic drainage massage, um, water and your um, lymphatic system. So what I shared about structured water. Um, so that is, uh, there's uh, my good friend, Gina Bria, gives us a really deep dive in um, structured water and how you can integrate that in your life. And then um, we have um, my dear friend, Katie Straykosh. There's the yoga and breath work um, modules. So if that sounded overwhelming to do breath work on your own, you can have a little um, video that you can keep on coming back to, to do movement and breath work. Also, um, a whole module on the lymphatics and sleep and how to optimize um, this part. Um, this is key to our health and really key to our brain health. And so um, if you're struggling with any cognitive issues or struggling, um, you know, or if you want to you know, prevent them, you know, this is a really um, good module to um, educate yourself on. And then the lymphatics of the abdomen and the breast. So um, we have a whole lymphatic system in our, in our abdomen. And if there is a lymphatic uh, fluid buildup um, in your abdomen, um, secondary to a lot of chronic digestive issues, SIBO, you know, anything like that, that can um, impact um, our whole lymphatic system. And then breast health. So our, uh, for women, breasts are lymphatic tissue. And if you've had any issues, um, you know, from, 
with your breasts, there's um, ways to understand and how to support that. Also, if you've had breast implants and had them removed, there's um, some tools and thoughts around that. Okay, so that's seven days full of information to help you feel empowered. Uh, next slide. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to have a kind of a segment going into the glymphatic system and sleep, and then I'm going to share some solutions um, with products and things. So um, hold on, for, hold on yeah. just a second. We do, I just yeah. want to tell everyone what's going to happen right now is we do have great questions. So hang in there. Do put them in the Q&A box because I can't see too much. It's just too much. <laughs> it's just too much. But put them in the Q and A box. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, Clarissa on my team, thanks, Clarissa. She has put into the chat a coupon or discount um, for us. We have fifty dollars off this course, which is a course I bought with my own hard-earned money um, prior to connecting with Christine about doing it for our community. And so I love this course. Remember, my mm -hmm. mom had lymphoma. That was the reason why I decided to do the Lymphatic Rescue Summit. And I just wish she had had all this information. It was the 90s. What can I say? Um, so mm. I, I want to encourage you all to take advantage of this. So we have a nice $50 off. I can't remember the, the price of the whole course, but I think this comes down to under $100. Yeah, I think 147. So I think we're giving around 97. So Thank I, you. yeah, I want to make this accessible. So yay. Yay. And use coupon code Siobhan, S H I. V is in Victor, A, N is in Nancy. That's me. Hi. Um, but you know what I was thinking? I did this the other day. It just hit me again. I'm like, okay. Like the angels are tapping me on the shoulder. Um, so I just did these other day. I did an oral microbiome test webinar, uh, Christine, which was so super cool. And we threw in a, a masterclass about bio, <sighs> biological dentistry from... Barbara Tritz, the biological uh, dentistry, dental hygienist. And I'm sitting here thinking, hey, why don't we throw in the masterclass from your colleague, Dr. Cam Traeger, about oh, headache pain and oh, fascia. And this was a whole masterclass that was done, right? That's, you're brilliant. Right. Yeah. So yeah. if you pick this up, which I hope you will, um, because seriously, it's amazing. And then email us at info at SIBO SOS with your proof of purchase. We will hook you up with a free masterclass that a doc, Dr. Kim Trigger, who's in your practice, you stole her away from the other part of the country to come to <laughs> Dr. Kim Trigger. And I'll, I'll show this to you guys. Yeah, we'll, then we'll yeah. talk about some, and we will get what to it. Yeah, what a great idea, Siobhan. I love how we just think of things in the moment on these, you know, webinars, but um, Dr. Kim Traeger is a gift and she is a gift to our patients in our practice. And she has such a deep knowledge of everything that we've shared. And Siobhan was brilliant enough to bring her into her community to just get more people aware of this information. And so she she did an amazing masterclass and, um, you know, really so many people have issues. Like I'm treating people from here to here, you know, mostly, you know, and there's so many layers to that. And so she has a, you know, wonderful way of um, educating um, and she did an excellent job here. She did a great job. You can see her slide. She talked about myofascial lines, headaches, and all of that. There she is. Yay. And so you'll get the pre recorded um, class, and we'll throw in the pre recorded QA, which is fantastic. And I hope you enjoy that. And that's with the purchase of the course. So that's normally $59. A lot of people paid $59 for that class and were raving about it. The reason why my company is called Chronic Condition Rescue is because so much stuff was wrong with me in 2014, 15, 16, and I was in a mold infested building for 20 years. I've got an upcoming masterclass uh, with Dr. Sharon Stills on give me a full head of hair because I had yeah. alopecia, my hair was shredding. I mean, whatever was wrong with me, okay, everyone's getting help by the fact that I needed help. So I had I had chronic headaches and TMJ and all of that. And so um, I wanted to do a masterclass on that as well. So there you go. That's going to be included if you pick it up the course. Now we're going to go back to the PowerPoint. We're going to talk about a couple more things, then we'll get to your questions. And I have to do the yeah. share yeah. screen. Business. Thank you, Siobhan. Um, thank you for yeah. that. I think that's a great oh, idea. Yeah. I think it's great. She's so special. And I, I think it's a perfect compliment to what you're um, offering to us. So thank you. Okay. Awesome. Now, how do I make it big? 
yeah so you go back to that little perfect yay and then and I then do. you go and then you go um use slideshow in the upper right look at that look at how fast okay. we've got here and then we're gonna go advance that slide okay so um i'm just priming us a little bit about the glymphatic system because i'm going to talk about um some tools to support you at home with us so uh the glymphatic system is the glial dependent lymphatic system i go in more depth around this in the seven day lymph rehab blueprint and it was honestly newly discovered in like 2015 i think it's just amazing how um we are continuing to learn about how our body works. And um, I know even um, there are new systems, especially related to uh, the fascia and, you know, the really the um, differences we're looking at um, cadaver old tissue versus living tissue with the technology advancing and that helps to deepen our understanding. So this is all about how our brain clears um, metabolic wastes and also toxicants and pathogens while we sleep. And so what happens when we sleep is that our brain actually shrinks 16% of size. And then what happens is this flood of cerebral spinal fluid and lymph flows along the arteries and it basically bathes our neurons so that the uh, uh, regulation of that fluid is regulated by these astrocytes. Um, and you can see that they have these star shapes and they have these little end feet and they have these little channels that regulate water. And then they um, bathe these neurons in the goal. If you can see the top slide, they kind of remove the waste, those rods are, um, representing metabolic waste and then they go along the venous system and they exit the brain and again um we think about what's going on here but since everything's interconnected if it doesn't have a route to go and things are congested downstream there can be actually build up of lymph in the brain so we'll talk about that in a moment um but here you have um you know if we have an injury this is why um we really screen for if people have had head injuries in their um any you know in their history or concussions and this is why we you know know that nfl players unfortunately are at more risk for cognitive decline and dementia and alzheimer's because they you can injure the system. And when you injure it, those astrocytes become impaired and their ability to clear waste becomes impaired. And then you get a buildup. And then that leads to potentially, if we're not moving this fluid and it's not able to repair, we get a buildup and then neurons tend to um, malfunction. Uh, there's poor communication and they can even die and that leads to symptoms. So we don't want that. So the lymphatic system is important um, and it helps to, um, I wrote here, remove um, uh, beta amyloid and that we know is also a risk factor for Alzheimer's. Okay, mm -hmm. next slide. Okay, um, Marcy saying she the course isn't loading. The ability to buy the course isn't loading. So can somebody else just confirm or deny that that is working? <sighs> the gods are with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. So I mentioned there that you know the, the glymphatics in order for them to really do their job and okay they're doing all this wonderful work to remove waste they need to. Um, shuttle it to the lymphatics downstream so the body can basically um, do what it needs to do to remove the waste and then um, deal with the immune system. And so if we have congested cervical lymph nodes, that can impair our lymphatic drainage. And my dear friend, Dr. Marco Ruggiero, he's brilliant. He has a long career and he's actually studied the brains of children with autism and found that they have more um, basically pooling of lymph in their brain that can affect um, proper drainage. And mm -hmm. they found that with doing techniques to open up the lymph in the neck, that fluid tended to drain and that translate, uh, translated into improved symptoms. So the, the key you take away here is we've got to open up downstream so the brain can drain. Um, next slide. Yeah. <laughs> And then um, this is just sharing kind of overall, you know, kind of the drainage of the head that we have, um, you know, our left and our right side and most of the body and the head are drained from the left side and it, go, it goes into the thoracic duct. And then the right side, actually, it's just the right side of the head and the right arm and kind of the right part of the torso uh, drains through the right lymphatic duct. And the point I just wanted to make is how important kind of these um, areas of the body here are to kind of 
collecting and recycling uh, the lymph. And so when we think about downstream, we think about the cervical lymph nodes and we think about opening up um, both the thoracic and the right lymphatic duct. Next slide. So um, some solutions. So um, one of the products that uh, I created with Dr. Marco Ruggiero is a product called Lymph Flow, and it is a topical cream that has a couple really unique properties. It has what we call microbial um, derived chondroitin sulfate. So it's vegan for Siobhan. Thank and, you. You know, and uh, the chondroitin sulfate, remember, that picture that I was trying to illustrate of how important chondroitin sulfate is as one of the glycosaminoglycans in the extracellular matrix. So it's really a, a kind of a secret sauce to be able to get, you know, the ingredients that I'll share kind of delivered um, more quickly into the skin, into the dermis, into the interstitium, into the lymphatic, so they can go to where they need to go. And so this plus a um, again, in Dr. Marco's um, research, he's done a lot of work on the microbiome. He came up with a fermentation process for a couple key uh, microbes that he found created a peptide that is really helpful for the immune system. So when we think about recovering the lymph, we want to get it to move, and then we want to give um, strategies to also help the immune system clear pathogens that are in that lymphatic area. So um, that is the purpose of that. And then it has phosphatidylcholine from sunflower to create a liposomal um, delivery. So you have the chondroitin sulfate uh, plus the uh, phosphatidylcholine, and that really enhances the delivery. So um, that's lymph flow. We love to put it, you know, really why we created it is really to put it on the neck at bedtime to enhance lymphatic drainage. Um, the um, All the uses and anecdotes have, you know, mounted over the years, and people can use it on spars. They can use it areas of pain and inflammation. Um, you know, you don't have to just use it um, in your neck. Sometimes um, instead of a casserole pack, I'll have people put it over their liver. Um, so you can not only use it on the neck, but other areas of, um, you know, lymph. So not only the, um, you know, again, the neck or the armpits, but also um, the bikini line area or the groin area, and that can help drain and trim the lower extremities and also the pelvic bowl. Um, so we have a lot of fun with this product and it's helped a lot of people. And I just had my zirconia implant put in. For those who've been with me for a while, you know, I had the root canal. They didn't do it right, even though they were biological dentists, extreme. Uh. Then I had the cavitation. <laughs> you could have a new car, right? I would say we could have a new car or really amazing yeah. dental work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Um, and three of the, the one of the cavitations totally cleared, the other one didn't, as my body wow. just decided it didn't want to. So um, got the recavitation surgery oh. done. And then six months later, hello. Um, so this has been going on since May of, well, no longer than that, but anyway, I just got my zirconia implant in last week. So Yay. I was like slathering this. Oh, good. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's a great pre and post dental support. We use that a lot for that. So I, I hope it's helping. And I'm so glad that you got to that stage of your healing with them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't wait. Um, but I'm, you know, shooting ozone in there and shooting procaine in there, but this is so great topically. And then also because of those headaches I would get, I've been using this a lot because my headaches were feeling like the glimpse, which just wasn't draining. So yeah. this has been a life changer for me. So now oh, we're going to talk sleep. Yeah. So again, I mentioned the glymphatic system and the glymphatic system really, you know, we need sleep in order for the glymphatic system to work optimally. Um, it does do some work during the day, but not nearly what it's capable of during uh, the evening. And so when I first learned about this, I just was like, okay, we got to get people to sleep, but it's actually, there's different um, stages of sleep where it's more active. And again, you can go more deeper into this topic of different phases of the sleep, but we have non-REM and REM. Um, in non-REM, there's a form of deep um, sleep. It's a phase that's really, really important for our body's ability to heal and repair. It's a lot of when our immune system, our hormones, 
and a lot of our um, lymphatic activity is uh, most heightened. Also, REM sleep, the body is in this really heightened state of uh, blood flow, and um, it increases the lymphatic drainage as well. So I just wanted to, um, if you don't know about this, um, share this slide so you can learn more. And then next slide. So then um, what I mentioned is, you know, really in order to optimize and enhance our lymphatic system, I mean, you know, really having enough of the each phase of sleep, especially deep and REM sleep and deep sleep is associated with the slowest brain waves. That's why it's called Delta brain waves. They're high amplitude and low frequency. And this is a, again, a time of like high active metabolic activity for the brain I mean, the, the pituitary gland is supporting hormones. Um, it's also a time when our body gets into parasympathetic. Um, and it's also, you know, just again, um, kind of a time when the brain is coordinated and um, firing. So it's a heightened time for the brain lymphatic system to be draining and then also REM sleep. So, oh, um, oh that's okay. okay. Um, yeah, we can actually go back one. I'll just make my point about REM real quick. So um, again, the REM sleep is associated with like more uh, blood volume and, and more activities. So um, the activity, of the lymphatic system is actually increased while we're dreaming. And so it's also gonna, so when you're dreaming, you're actually, you know, at work uh, removing waste from your brain. So um, next slide. This is exciting, you guys. Yeah. So with Marco's knowledge and his wisdom of understanding how important the lymphatic system is, you know, we started with draining, you know, the brain via uh, the lymph downstream. And then, you know, he, you know, thought about how can we really um, support the brain to get into all these different phases of sleep so that we can have increase of uh, increased activity of the lymphatic system. So um, GAP is one of those things that you hear about how poorly absorbed it is. The oral forms are hard to you know, get into the brain. Um, and so he came up with this idea that we can combine GABA with again, that idea of the microbial chondroitin sulfate um, in combination to actually shuttle the GABA to the brain via the lymphatics. And so it's a really great tool and you can put a list. So it's a, it's a good, we have um, one ounce and two ounce and it's a, um, a little goes a long way. So my jars last me a long time. And it, um, you know, you put a little pea size amount, you put it on your temples and then we have you put it on the um, thinnest part of your skin um, at the top of your ear, if you'd like, before bed. And it's so fun to hear all the anecdotes here. So Marco's done some, you know, just um, anecdotal research and looking at aura rings and finding that um, people have an increase in all phases of sleep. So falling asleep, um, uh, non-REM and deep sleep and REM sleep. So we've seen an impact in all these phases. So um, it's really exciting. It works well with other sleep tools, um, but I find um, that this is a great way to, of course, support the lymphatic system, support people sleeping. Um, but we've also heard all these amazing things that people have more dreams and there's kind of more of this, not to sound too esoteric, kind of this, consciousness perspective of this product that we've been really loving to hear. Um, so I, from my opinion, you know, we're giving your body building blocks and tools, and then your body and brain are doing what it knows how to do best. And you're hopefully getting unblocked in areas that you've been blocked in your brain. So you have better sleep, better lymphatic drainage, and hopefully that your dreams become more meaningful. And hopefully oh. the good dreams come true. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. This is my, this is mine. And like, I started to dig in just one side of it, but I've had this for so long, a little yeah. goes a long way. And then also I'm actually not putting it on right now because I don't want to get that GABA thing going. Cause I don't want yeah. to see it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. So remember I did the overnights on home shopping HSN for six years. You guys, that oh, means wow putting full makeup on and hair at like, you know, 1130 at night or 1am. It was just like super radical, crazy. I drove an hour there and an hour back. It was dark times, but how you doing kitty? Okay. <laughs> so, um, sorry. I love you. Come back. Okay. So, um, I basically did, um, Unisom for the last two years of it. I was sleeping 11 hours a day just to mm -hmm. make up for it. Cause I was going to bed at seven in the morning sleep. I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. I wish I had had this. I'm telling you, if you struggle with sleep, 
take it from me, you should try this. Not to mention how much that messed up my gut being on those drugs. I never did Ambien because I thought, oh, I don't want to do that. That's addictive. Ba ba ba. Like, I don't know what that Benadryl did to me other than it wasn't good. I did it for so long. So bottom line is, you owe it to yourself to try it. And isn't it a nice idea to not have to do another pill of any kind, right? Mm-hmm. So for those of us with pill fatigue. Okay, and we're almost done. I wanted to, to get to that next slide. Is yeah, that- if, it's, if you're you know curious, these are the increase in deep sleep score and REM sleep with the use of Somnium. So okay. next slide. Next. And then one last, you know, slide in, um, you know, uh, this is just a really exciting thing that I'm debuting with Siobhan's community. It's been Yay. a long time coming. So again, my love is the lymph and I'm all trying to figure out where their holes in my patients' treatments or product lines and trying to fill those. And um, I was able to connect with a wonderful source of what we call gemotherapy. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, in Italy. And I've had this idea, gemotherapy has been very dear to my heart. I had a personal experience in my twenties with it. And I love the system of medicine. Gemotherapy is not gemstones. It's actually a um, term that we use to talk about the um, use of what we call plant stem cells. So it's the fresh buds and shoots of the plant that we're getting the most potent um, embryonic information from the plant that is picked during the springtime. Um, this source in Italy, it's um, all biodynamically grown. It's amazingly um, prepared with love and intent. And um, I've had the idea of, um, and, and these buds and shoots rather, um, these plant stem cells are prepared in what we call a glycerin alcohol master. So it kind of brings out the properties and the active extracts of these um, you know, beautiful remedies. And I've had the idea for a long time to how do we, you know, with modern day and the modern terrain, people are too sick and we need more powerful tools. So how can we amp up the effect of gemotherapy, which is powerful in and of itself. But I had the idea because of what I've shared, seen works so well in um, my community is adding a liposome to, you know, the gemotherapies and increasing the absorption in the lymphatics. So I picked uh, five key Um, gemotherapies that have been used traditionally for decades, or I'm sorry, um, longer than that, hundreds of years, that um, really have been known to treat the lymphatics. Um, And so this is a combination of sweet chestnut, which helps to um, move the lymph and support blood flow, especially it helps to drain the gut. And if you have edema in your legs, it helps with that. Um, service tree. It also helps with, um, it's a lymph mover and it also helps to move the blood. Black currant, we chose that. This is a really popular gemotherapy, Ribes nigrum. Um, it's a really great uh, for your adrenals and allergies. So thinking about, you know, the mast cell people, the allergic people, um, we add a black currant. Um, white birch targets the liver and then lemon tree has an alkalinizing effect. And so these five in combination with phosphatidylcholine, um, we created the liposome and gemo. Um, and that is just, again, and we have these wonderful, beautiful topicals that you can use via the skin. And then this is a really wonderful tool that you can use internally that gets absorbed in your lymph and can help your lymphatic system move. So a question with the liposomal gemo help the poor with poor circulation around the ankles. I have pink red coloring on inside of both ankle bones. Yeah, you know, of course, you know, there's probably a lot of factors, but this would be definitely um, something that I would share with a patient who came in with those symptoms in my office. Even though this isn't medical advice, everyone, how is sweet chestnut different than horse chestnut? Um, Different plant. Yeah, the um, the gemotherapy line that I work with does have a horse chestnut as well. Horse chestnut helps um, with kind of, uh, it, it does have an action on the lymph, but it also, um, we think about it for um, varicose veins and when people have kind of um, fragility and their cell of lining of their blood vessels, so slightly different. Guys, we have 20% off on these products when you use that code Siobhan. Thank you, Christine. I know you, listen, Christine doesn't do this for everybody, just so you know. Like, I don't know if you do it for anybody. I think just for you, Siobhan. (laughs) I really appreciate it. So those three products you can get at her apothecary with 20% off for, uh, with coupon code Siobhan. And then you can get the $50 off on the course. And if you're purchasing course today, um, you, yeah, that's, that's the key. You've got to really get the course today to get the, the 
head and neck uh, masterclass and headache masterclass from Dr. Kim Traeger. So I didn't say that before, but that really needs to happen today. And email um, us at info at SIBOSOS.com. Okay. Um, is chestnut safe for allergies? Hey, Lauren, is chestnut safe for allergies or does it depend on what you're allergic to? Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, everyone has to, um, you know, go with what they're, you know, uniquely allergic to, but this is definitely, um, you know, a well-tolerated safe blend for people. And then the black currant helps with people. Oh my gosh, allergic. sorry, yeah. my cat just jumped on another thing. Go ahead, hear me. Go ahead, Christine. Oh, I just said that, um, you know, the black curd in there also helps with people who tend to have more allergies, as I mentioned. So okay. um, again, you know, don't take this if you're allergic to anything in there, but um, it can help reduce allergic um, phenomenon in the body as well. Okay. Hey, um, Clarissa, can you post the apothecary link for me? Um, Jeff needs to find that. And I'm not sure if anybody else does too, but that would make a lot of good sense. So thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, so the question is, it, is it from the plant or the nut? We're having a couple of sourcing questions. So I want to get those taken care of. Yeah, yeah. So um, all of these are taken. So we have the plant. And in spring, you know, depending on, um, you know, the flowering part of the plant, there's going to be essentially a bud, you know, just think of that fresh bud that, um, you know, is that potential before the flower part um, blooms. It's taken the that bud part of the plant um, is taken. Um, if you have more questions, I'm sure you know the, about sensitivity. You can um, email support at hypothecarystore.com, or we can put that it's out in a, on the website. Just email the support, and we can target those really specific. We can get you okay. sourcing information, and we want okay. you to feel comfortable with anything you're taking. I know there are a lot of sensitive patients out there, so I totally get it. Yeah, and you're not going to put your name on anything or create a personalized formulation that you know you were so inspired to with like something that was wonky. Um, yeah. How do you take the lymph? <laughs> how do you take the lymph gemo? How do you take it? So it comes in a dropper, and so um, for most people, they do well with two dropperfuls twice a day um, because it's liposomal. It is good to actually um, do it directly in the mouth um, so that you get that liposomal absorption right into the lymphatics right away. Okay, cool. All right. So um, remember, if you want to make the move on the course right now, Clarissa has been popping it into the chat. You get uh, $50 off and then this is 20% off. It is a limited window, but if you're here now and you can make your move, my cats are just having a blast. Oh, what time is it? They know how to tell time. It's 4.09 <laughs> between 4.09 and 5.10. They think that it's time to eat. So we'll, we'll let them just continue to run around. Okay, mm -hmm. Louise, I developed lymphedema in my right leg about a year ago. They don't know where it's from. Thankfully, I, it is well under control. Actually, no more swelling. But I have left with several hard cysts under my skin on my lower leg. Needless to say, no MD knows how to treat or what else. I just started using lymph, lymph flow cream and have regular lymphatic drainage massage. Any other ideas on how to treat? Well, I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah, no, that's great. You know, um, one of the things, again, I can't give you medical advice, but things that would be going in my head are potentially adding in um, what we call proteolytic enzymes to help just enhance the breakdown of any, um, you know, reasons why um, you have that inflammation. Um, I'm always looking at pathogen triggers when there are signs that you just shared. And so um, potentially adding in some more what we would call antimicrobial strategies. Um, you know, I, there'd be a lot of questions. Um, I, I hate to, you know, there's, I could do a whole consult asking a bunch of questions around um, different pathogens that you might have been exposed to. And then remember, when you're stuck, there's always, we always ask as Siobhan has educated people, do you have any dental interference field? Do you have scars? Have the scars been properly addressed? When we think about the lower extremity, we want to drain the abdomen, you know, think of um, draining the abdomen, draining the groin. So maybe applying um, the uh, lymph flow to the groin area and then making sure you're doing castor oil packs, that could also help. Okay, Jill Cooper, I am sending you a private message. Okay, uh, here we go. Do we go to the apothecary store or SIBO SOS to purchase the supplements? In this case, it's the apothecary store. 
How long does the liposoma last? Is it a month's worth or more? Good question, Mary. Yeah, it's, it depends. You know, there is, it's right um, around a little bit more than um, one and a half ounces. So um, for most people, it will last um, around a month. Okay. Uh, send the proof of purchase as you request. I hope to receive three. You're getting one master class. You're getting one master class, and that is for headache, neck, and um, pain from Dr. Kim Traeger which is included. So, and uh, you're gonna assist the lymphatic course from Dr. Um, Schaffner. So awesome. Okay, Adrian, what do you think of gua sha for the face and for the body? When I do gua sha, I tend to break out on the edge of my face near my hairline. Even though I do pull the gua sha down my collarbones from Adrian, any suggestions? Yeah, I mean, we love the gua sha, right? And I'm glad that you're you know, getting familiar with that and using that. It sounds like you got breakouts once you got your lymph moving, I think I'm hearing. Is that correct, Siobhan? Yeah, so um, yeah. a couple of things to think about, like making sure that you're not currently taking anything that can be... Um, you know, contributing to that. I think especially in the face and jaw and neck, you know, making sure you're not in any um, uh, eating any food allergies. Um, also, if you have any dental issues, sometimes I see an increase in breakouts um, because of potentially, you know, some, you know, microbes or lymph congestion. And just think about it. You have a system that's been probably stagnant and you get your, um, you wake it up and you get your immune system all engaged. It's like ready to fight. And sometimes there can be transient and inflammatory responses as you're getting the system moving. That's not um, uncommon. Oh, by the way, I really did authentically just make this idea up of giving you the Kim Traeger um, class. Yeah. So Carissa you. just told me to announce 24 to 48 hours to process the free masterclass, please. Thank you. And <laughs> email us at, yeah, sorry. And email us at info at SIBOSOS.com. I can see a bunch of people coming on in, including you, Jill. Okay, um, let's see. Um, lower. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. You guys had such, such good questions. Uh, what are the lymphs in the mouth and how can you remove waste? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that's, um, there's a lot, right. Um, what I always oh, think oh, about just froze. Oh, I'm here. Are you are still you frozen? frozen? You're frozen. Am I frozen? Cool. You're back. You're back and better than ever. Okay, sorry. I'm like, you're frozen. No, I'm frozen. <laughs> I know. Um, so the lymph in the mouth. So the first thing I always think about is um, the um, whole tonsil ring of tissue. So that is the um, really important lymphatic tissue. And we think about our tonsils, but we actually have five tissues. We have our tonsils that we know about. We have the tonsils at the end of what we call the eustachian tubes underneath the tongue and then the top of the mouth. So there's this whole ring of lymphatic tissue that is helpful in draining the brain, also helpful in um, basically supporting the immune system in the gut. And also if you have issues in your oral microbiome, that can continue to put stress on that tissue and that could, then it's the chicken or the egg, right? So then that affects the drainage in the mouth that kind of perpetuates potentially infection and disruption in the oral microbiome. Um, and so I always think about supporting the tonsils. And then we have different, of course, um, there, if you go get my slides, you'll see, I think the cervical lymph nodes, they should talk about some of the submandibular glands and, um, you know, different um, areas. Yeah, we have lymph everywhere in our body, right? So when you think about supporting your oral microbiome, definitely helping um, underneath the neck and draining the neck will um, be um, advantageous supporting a healthy mouth. Joseph has been with us a couple of times. I recognize your name, Joseph. Hey, um, and I know you've asked this question before. So do patients with lymphedema have a higher incidence of cancer? So I don't know, it's a huge question, but do you have any, it makes sense. Yeah, but thoughts yeah on I mean, I, th I think we need to, you know, everyone, you know, needs to think about this individually. I mean, I think, um, I think we're all marching on if we have, you know, signs and symptoms that are consistent, we're kind of marching on potentially developing a stronger chronic illness if we're not looking at root cause. And for what I think in modern day, people can be coming, going to cancer or neurological illness um, if we're not addressing these things. So we need to live a lifestyle that moves our lymph and look deeper at toxicants and pathogens. There is a screening test from a normal um, blood work from LabCorp West called it LDH or lactate dehydrogen 
Hutchins. Write that and down, everybody. And that if that is elevated, you may be more at risk for um, potentially um, that lymphedema turning into a lymphoma. But I don't want to be, I'm not an alarmist. No, so you're not. You know, but um, but definitely if you have a lymphedema and you don't, um, if you want to prevent cancer, think about Epstein Barr and Bartonella and you know, some of these infections that we know can over time um, create a um, create cancer down the road if they're not addressed. Again, just tune into Siobhan every day and you will you will turn the you know turn the course of that. That's, turn. that's <laughs> the goal. That's the goal. Okay, Krista, I have swelling in my arms and legs. I've done many lymphatic treatments and has been going on for a decade. What do you think they should be investigating as a root cause? I'm still eliminating roundworms. I okay. used to have Lyme, digestive issues, and a left shoulder head injury before lymph issues. So mm, yeah, you've gone through a lot. Um, ha Christy, have you looked at your mouth? So that's always something to think about. Root canals, cavitations, amalgam fillings. Um, do you have any scars? Do you have any unprocessed, tra unprocessed trauma? You know, could that be a missing piece? When you're dealing with parasite treatment, your lymph system can be highly congested. So parasite treatment takes time. You know, it is definitely um, rewarding, stick with it, um, but it is, uh, it, it definitely does take some time to really fully eliminate parasites. Um, so that could be part of the issue as well. Okay, um, I have scars in my lower, Pat, I have scars in my lower abdomen from three C-sections. Would that be preventing my lymph moving through that area? What can I do to help lymph pass through? Yeah, that's a big one, right? You know, we we hear that a lot, right, Siobhan, that the C-section scars um, are, you know, unfortunately, I mean, thank goodness your, your baby was able to come out and we we understand that, that the importance of that when it's needed. However, that scar um, can create a lot of um, disturbance in the fascia and the lymphatics. And so um, things to think about, you can use the lymph flow cream, you know, on the scar topically that can start creating movement in that tissue. Um, there is a, pro, uh, a technique called neurotherapy that we do. I do that in my office and I inject um, C-section scars commonly with a substance called procaine and it helps to break down scar tissue and to help get lymphatic uh, flow back to the tissue or helps to release trauma sometimes. Um, it's not widely available. So if you live in an area, I don't know where you live, but it, um, you know, if you don't live in an area where you can get that done, some acupuncturists can do um, scar needling. Um, that can be helpful. Um, you know, when you um, when you learn about the fascia more, you know, scar tissue is kind of like a plug. You know, there's an injury to the body, and you know, the body plugs it up. But it is a traffic jam in the connective tissue, and it can create a buildup of toxicants and not allow the body to flow as well as it can. So there are different techniques to help to um, mitigate that stress and create more uh, flow where the body's been jammed up. The, um, hold on for a second. This is going a little, okay. What's your, um, opinion about lymph massages? I know you're, you're in favor of it, but Marina is saying any hope for balls of hard lymph on the ankles. I have so much pain from lymphedema, any natural strategies for pain? Yeah. You know that, um, you know, that definitely, what it's coming to my mind is, have you ever heard of a lymphatic treatment called the lymph star? It, you know, you can- How do you spell that, it? How do you spell um, Lymph star, like star, S-T-A-R. Okay. okay. Uh, it uses wands and basically noble gases that are applied that help to dissolve, thicken the lymph. Um, so that could be something, if you haven't tried that, that can be something to really work with a skilled therapist who can help move and get that, you know, um, limp, softer and flowing. Um, you know, natural remedies for pain often are, are anti-inflammatories. They are going to be our fish oils and our curcumins and our proteolytic enzymes. Um, you know, there is also a technique that seems simple, but, you know, I shared how the circulatory system is related to the lymphatic system, but contrast hydrotherapy. So alternating hot and cold. So getting your, you know, feet in hot for three minutes. So it's in naturopathic medicine, it's the rule of threes. So three minutes hot, 30 seconds cold, three times always ending in cold. 
So that can get your blood pumping and hopefully that can create some movement as well. Cool. Thanks, Cynthia, for uh, your proof of purchase and Stephanie and Jay and Shenry. I'm not sure what the first name is there, but um, that's really exciting. I'm very, very excited for you. Um, I know this class can change lives. I know, I mean, really, I know it sounds like crazy, but it's true. It really could save lives. If my mother had had this information, holy smackers. It would have been a different game. Remember when she told me she had cancer, I'll never forget it where I was on the phone. And um, uh, I, I said to her, she said, I have lymphoma. Ugh. And um, I don't usually cry. And um, I said, oh, do you have a sore throat? Because that was all I really knew, all any of us really knew about lymphoma. And mm -hmm. that was, you know, she passed in 1997. And her mm. birthday was just two days ago. So mm. I, I wish she had had this information. My mom was really into natural healing too. I can't even imagine what my life would have been like or what her life, how much worse her life would have been if she was not into um, natural healing. So we were going to, you know, food combining nutritionists before I could drive. I remember big time, yeah. like I was 14, 15 when we first went. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Uh, and part of my mom's problem really seriously was um, grief. After my mm -hmm. dad died, she was so devastated. That was part of it. Obviously, she didn't have good liver detox pathways because she gave them to me. And um, <laughs> she had varicose veins and um, she took pretty good care of herself. But there was, um, there was a sadness at the end. Um, mm -hmm. and, and he died when she was 50. Mm -hmm. That was a tough, tough, tough road. Anyway... Mm -hmm. Please take good care of yourself and please follow your intuition about, you know, what you know to do. And um, I, I wish she exercised more too. That was, yeah. that was, you know, I really, I wish, I wish my parents taught me how to exercise every day as a value system and how to save money. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy always said, it's easy to make money. It's hard to save it, honey. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, from Christine, from Christine, is there something special to take into consideration with breast cancer clients that have had some of their lymph glands removed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, cancer obviously is a, you know, fine line and you need to work with the medical team. So you're not putting anyone, you know, at risk, but often um, there are times when it's really safe and important to support the limb to help people get through therapies. The limb flow, um, you know, I have had some patients um, that um, other providers have um, treated that have cancer. Um, they've used the lymph flow safely. So just that is a good, I think, instead of if there's on the fence of going to get you know, lymphatic drainage, if that's too much, the lymph flow is a good bridge. And remember the lymph flow has the, the probiotic blend that has the peptide to support oh, them. Somebody froze. Yeah. Oh. Somebody froze. Hold on. Hello. Hello. So other I'm... last time she froze, see, people were saying I froze and that she was just thawing. Okay. Yeah. I am. Um, you okay. seem to be frozen. I'm, I'm, yeah, I got to type up. You're okay. So I just talked over you. Sorry. No, but um, so lymph flow, remember it has the probiotic peptide um, blend that essentially, you know, supports the immune system. So that can, you know, be helpful as well. Okay. Um, Bev, I'm so sorry you had that surgery, but I mean, it looks like it may very well have saved your life. I'm not sure, but you had a lot going on there. What about like, let's say someone has a big scar or a little scar. What about putting some of the lymph flow on it? Is that okay? Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. I, I use lymph flow as kind of a home scar treatment for my patients. So I'll use neural therapy, but scars need to be, you know, treated ongoing, especially people are doing, you know, different treatments and we want to make sure like they're getting dental work or so forth. We want to make sure the whole system is flowing. So yeah, lymph flow is great for scars. Uh, we have five more minutes, so uh, we're doing our best here. I have a hard time sweating even in the sauna at 80 degrees. Is there anything I can do so that I can sweat from Fusako? Yeah, that can, um, you know, happen, right? So when you're, um, you know, going through the things that you're probably going through, um, some people need to be sweating, but they're not sweating. I think about that in relationship to the autonomic nervous system as well. So hopefully you've kind of taken notes and heard some of the things we're looking at when the body is blocked and that the 
autonomic nervous system is having trouble, um, but stick with it. You know, you will sweat eventually. So make sure you're staying hydrated, do the things to um, move your limbs. And, you know, again, with the sauna, you want to feel better, not worse. So if you're feeling worse from the sauna, it's not time to do the sauna. Um, I see that a lot that people just want to, you know, more is better or suffer through it. But, you know, there's a time and a place for sauna therapy. A lot of my patients are too sensitive to start with it. Um, and then you can slowly titrate it into your life. It's great when, when your body is ready. Couple of questions, Mary, a couple of other people. Okay. Saul so, uh, answers question for us. Lymph dry brushing and uh, gua sha towards the heart or away from the heart? Towards the heart. You know, think about it. Like I just, you know, I share that we're oh. trying to, you know, we're trying to move the lymph. Remember it has a one-way valve system, you know, and we're trying to move it back to the heart so that the body can get it back into the blood. And so it enters that way through here, which is near the heart. So just kind of, um, you know, go towards the heart and then you want to make sure it has a place to go. So you're always working upstream before you move downstream. So you're not creating more, you know, that it is not too hard to move that already congested limb. So if you're trying to move the hand, you move basically here, 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 and then there, you know, so you want to have a highway for the lymph to go. So you open up the, the toll booth. Yeah, so obviously, yeah you want to, yeah. I love, I like your analogy. Open well, up the I think booth. I stole that from Kelly Kennedy. I can't remember. Yeah, I can pull it from somebody. Yeah. yeah. So you open up the toll booths and then you bring it in the traffic in. Because if you're clumped up at the toll booth, she said, then the rest of the traffic can't get through. That's also when you're doing abdominal massages for constipation, you want to do down here, right? First, so that when yeah. the rest of the stuff comes through, it's not clogged down there. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> mechanics. Yes. 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 The mechanics. Um, do you guys ship to Canada? Yes. Okay, great. Um, let's see, Jeff, I would love to have you, uh, have do cameos of my cats sometimes. Yes. They're super sweet. Um, um, is the chondroitin sulfate, is it bovine or shark? No, it's vegan. Yeah, it's vegan. It's actually um, microbial derived. So it's from a probiotic. Yeah. It's a, you know, really unique in that way. Uh, Millie, what's the refund policy? I'm tired of trying lots of products for sleeping that don't help me. I can't afford to buy any, anything else. What is your refund policy? You know, we have it um, documented. You know, we're really quite, we want this to work for you. You know, we, yeah. have, we definitely want to make sure that this is a product that works for you. And so just being good communication with you, uh, with us rather, and we'll take care of you. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Uh, Lena, what homeopathic remedy is your favorite for a lymphatic support? Picana eye tires. What do you think mm -hmm. about Beyond Balance Lymph SPTT support product, which is herbal? Yeah, I use both of them in my practice. So okay. um, the question is, is just different drainage remedies or herbal support. So Bacana Iteries is a, you know, lymphatic formula that works very well. Um, I do use Beyond Balance products and the lymph support is actually nice. It's a glycerin. So for people who can't tolerate alcohol um, in their products, um, it, that's a nice one. Um, I like Physica, you know, Umda. I like um, the Gemo therapies. So those are my tools. Uh, okay. And Lena, of course, she's going to put it in glass. She's not going to put it in plastic, by the way. <laughs> That's adorable. You've come to these before, Lena, you know, you know, the score, but yeah, I get it. Um, okay. It is 430. Uh, does limp flow work on very old scars? Yeah. Oh yeah. Most people come to me with old scars. Yeah. So Mary, go ahead and email info at SIBO SOS. If you're, if the coupon's not working for the $50 off, you need to, you put in coupon code Siobhan. Um, mm. Yep. Do you ship to the UK, Leslie? Yes. Okay. I don't know what you can't hear. So I don't know what I'm supposed to repeat. Okay. Um, Bev is saying, fortunately, her cancer was found very early, but what are symptoms one might see if C-section scar or other abdominal scars present? What symptoms would one, would you observe? I'm not the doctor, but I call those barriers to healing. A lot of other people do. I mean, 
what would you say to that? Bev, you're in yeah. our thoughts and prayers. Yeah, 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 definitely. And we barriers interference fields. So, you know, the more that we can alleviate stress on the body, the more energy the body has to heal and repair, you know, so that can be also, um, you know, can affect can, um, constipation, digestion, uh, reproductive health, um, edema in the lower legs. Um, these are things we see with the C-section scar. Uh, what about um, varicose veins? Just Dr. Schaffner is the one who told me that was a sign of lymph issues. I wish we had known. Yeah, I wish we'd known. My yes. sister is getting acupuncture for them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is it working? It is. They're like in the little spider veins. They're like disappearing. Yeah. And yeah. my mom had the surgery, which is like mm. working primitive. Um, but please get those addressed big time. Please get, get it all moving people. I have psoriasis. I'm going to keep you for two more minutes. I have psoriasis yeah. on the inner part of my butt cheeks. Could that be a lymph issue? Yeah. Psoriasis, you know, is an immune issue as well, you know, but definitely as part of your overall plan, definitely support your lymph. And your microbiome. Please check into your microbiome for psoriasis. There's a book out about it and I never get the name right, but it has the word keystone in it. I call it like the Keystone Solution or the Keystone Method. It's basically a SIBO book. Like I read the book, I was like, SIBO. SIBO. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Okay, we're going to recap. Start putting some love into the chat. Yes, does Dr. Schaffner see patients privately? How do we contact her? How do we do it? Oh, thank you. So we have a website, eminencehealth.com, and I do see patients, and I have a wonderful team of naturopaths and Dr. Kim, and we do all sorts of fun things in person as also via telemedicine as well. Okay. And um, yay, Lena says, yay. Yeah, what about the GABA cream, meaning the somnium, um, with anxiety meds? Is there a problem? It's, it's okay. I mean, always check with your provider, but um, they are, um, they don't have a contraindication. Okay. Okay. So good, Nicole. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you, Dr. Schaffner. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for giving our community exclusive discounts. So you can get the Lympho Gemmo. You can get the Somnium. You can get, my label came off of the um, Lympho. Thank you, Limflo. Uh, um, and twenty percent off. No one else gets that coupon, guys. It's Siobhan, S H I V A N. And then thanks, Clarissa, for the recap. The um, also the course is fifty dollars off. No one else gets that. That is exclusive for you guys for being here. Thank you. And then also, um, if you do buy that uh, course by tonight, so thanks for being here live. Um, midnight tonight, Eastern time, let's say, then we will, I will give you the masterclass from one of the doctors in Dr. Schaffner's practice, Dr. Kim Traeger, who did a phenomenal presentation on head pain, headaches, TMJ, dental scenarios, posture. I really wanted to hear what she had to say about the lymphatic system and all that. She's brilliant. You wouldn't have invited her to be in your practice if she wasn't. But that's usually $59. We just did that a couple of months ago. It was incredible, very well received. And we there were some exercises you can do from anywhere, including sitting in the car or at your desk. Um, it was top notch as everything that you and your team do. So I'm including mm -hmm. that if you decide to get the course. So mm -hmm. the course is about $100. It's net fifty dollars off, so you're down to about a hundred dollars, a little bit less ninety nine, and then you're getting a fifty nine dollar free goodie. You have to email us at info at SIBO SOS with your proof proof of purchase. But I just made that up, so give my team twenty four to forty eight hours to be able to fulfill that. And we appreciate <laughs> no, it. no big deal, yeah. <laughs> no big deal, no pressure. It's a Friday afternoon. I got two on vacation, and no big deal. <laughs> but I love it. You're so passionate about it, so thank you. I think that was such a great idea. That was brilliant. I love that one. I love it when it comes through that way. Okay. Uh, Dr. Schaffner, what's your website again? It's Eminence Health. It's I-M-M-A-N-E-N-C-E-Health.com. Eminence means the divine within. So it means that I'm very um, inspired by this ability that we all have the ability to connect and heal with our innate wisdom. 
Mm -hmm. I froze. So I guess I think everybody heard you, but it's a very namaste concept about the God within you, about the divine in, within you, whatever you want to call it. Christine, it's so good to see you so well, so healthy, so vibrant, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, everyone. I so appreciate being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Happy, happy times, everyone. Use this information, put it to good, good use for you and, um, and uh, be well. Be well. So I've done a ton of webinars in the month of July. In August, I have one, two, I have, two, I have three, <laughs> four. Um, but one thing I wanted to tell you about was uh, the one that was on August 23rd. It's with Dr. Sharon Stills. It's a masterclass. So there's a charge 